the processor also has to be able to handle the vast amount of data needed for time travel. This isn't a problem for me as I have one of the latest processors running at 7.66 MHz. But remember, with great processing power comes great responsibility. Let's get going. We're gonna hack this 3.5 inch floppy disk to the year 2005. By then, I suspect it will be possible to store even bigger amounts of data, maybe even in the tens of megabytes, on disks about this size. So this might not be too useful for them. Place it on your partition board, and make sure it's within range of the cellular transmitter. Before you boot your computer, make sure your modem is properly connected. The modem is what lets us bypass the grid relay and penetrate the barrier into space-time. Obviously, Insert external drive. Yeah, I'll insert my external drive, ladies. The mainframe is gonna try to stop us from making a direct link to the kernel, so we have to bypass it by doing a segmentation violation. Now this is a capital offense in most states, so make sure to hide your proxy. The core terminal is trying to shut us out of the grid. Someone spent a lot of time on this anti-hacking software. I'm gonna have to go into hardcore hacking mode. Neato 